with your feet together and we'll practice good posture in mountain pose. Lift and spread your toes, engaging your calf muscles. Then place your toes down and relax them. Contract your thighs, lifting your kneecaps. To find the correct position for your pelvis, place your hands behind your hips. First, tilt your pelvis forward, arching your lower back. Notice how this makes your belly and your buttocks stick out. The proper position of the pelvis is essential to good posture. Now, release the arch and tuck your buttocks slightly. Don't flatten your lumbar curve all the way, or your chest will collapse and your shoulders will drop forward. Keep a slight and natural curve in your lower back. This is an ideal position for your pelvis. Bring your arms to your side. Gently pull your abdomen in as you lengthen your waist. Lift your sternum. Relax your arms and shoulders. Your whole body is now in a neutral position, neither forward or back. Balance your weight evenly over your feet, front and back, left and right. Good posture is important to the health of your body and your back. So practice this pose until standing straight becomes second nature. Now separate your feet a little wider than shoulder width. Turn them out slightly. Bend your knees, squatting down all the way. Join your palms, lowering your hands so your elbows press against the inside of your knees. Lengthen your spine so your back is as straight as possible. Gently separate your thighs as far as you can. Breathe slowly and evenly. If you can't bring your heels down, place a folded towel or a rolled mat under them. You can also practice with your buttocks against the wall, or sit on a low stool or pile of books if you like. Lengthen your lower spine. Then focus on lifting your middle and upper back, gently pressing your chest forward. Inhale and lift your chin, stretching the front of your neck. Keep your shoulders down. Feel the stretch from your breastbone to your sternum, to your throat, and up to your chin. You can roll your tongue up in this pose. Breathe to your abdomen. Feel the breath expand and loosen the groin area. Try to separate your knees a little more. Lift and lengthen the front of your spine. Squatting stretches the muscles alongside your spine, easing back ache. It also keeps your hips flexible and your pelvic organs healthy. Slowly bring your head back to center. Extend your arms and bring your knees together. Lower your head and bend forward, placing your forehead on your knees. Rest your hands lightly on the floor if you can. Take full, deep breaths. As the breath comes into your abdomen, your lower back lengthens. As the breath moves higher, feel the back of your ribs expand. Inhale and straighten your back. Separate your knees and bring your palms to your chest. Press your elbows against your thighs to open the groin. Keep your spine lifted and rotate your shoulders back as much as possible. Gently release the pose. 
lie down on your side. Make fists around your thumbs and place them on the floor. Roll onto your hands and rest your chin on the ground. Bend your knees. Breathe in deeply. Exhale as you lift your thighs and hips. Press your hands down firmly to help you lift them higher. Focus on lifting your hips high. Breathe in this pose. Now bring your knees together. Feel how this movement engages the muscles of your lower back, strengthening them. Bring your knees as close together as you can. If your legs begin to tremble, breathe a little deeper. This pose can be helpful for relieving lower back pain. Slowly lower your thighs. Extend your legs. Bring your arms out from under you, and rest your head on your hands like a pillow. Feel the increased circulation in your lower body and in the pelvic area. Push up onto your hands and knees for tiger pose. Exhale and touch your nose to your right knee. Inhale and raise your leg up behind you as you lift your head. Exhale and round your back, bringing your nose to your knee. Let's repeat this movement. Inhale as you lift your leg and arch your spine. Exhale as your leg comes down and your spine rounds. Move with the rhythm of your breath. Don't worry if your knee and nose don't meet. Just bring them as close as you can. This exercise strengthens your back muscles. It also keeps your spine flexible. If lifting your leg high is uncomfortable, just extend it straight out behind you. Make your movements slow and smooth. As you lift your leg, point your toes straight up. Lift your leg one more time. Bring your knee to the floor. Exhale and bring your left knee to your nose. Inhale and raise your leg as you stretch your neck back and look up. Exhale and round your back as much as possible. Continue in your own rhythm. Press down firmly as you round your upper back. Lift away from your hands as you look up. Be aware of your breath and your movements. Notice which parts of your body are stretching and contracting as you change positions. Tiger pose stretches and strengthens the back. It's also helpful for relieving sciatica.
As it relaxes, the sciatic nerve. Now lower your knee to the ground. Bring your buttocks to your heels and your forehead to the ground. Rest your arms in front of you. Breathe normally now, relaxing your back, legs, shoulders, and arms. <laughs> 